Stenciling life boys. Is it a struggle or just a normal day at the office? It may serve as challenge for the new guys considering, well, the shape itself. So for those of you who are always looking for that detailed print and whatnot, this video may be of help. Let's go. We start with a virtual guide on Excel to fit those letters. As our life boy is around in shape, so will our guide. We insert a circle from the insert tab. This first circle will be the outer layer guide of our life boy. So as a default, it starts out as a solid shape. We can alter that by right clicking it and selecting format shape or the size settings. Either way, it will lead you to the format shape setting. Click the fill tab and select no fill. Next is the line color depending on your preference. Now we go to the size setting. So a standard life boy has an outer diameter of 80 cm and an inner diameter of 40 cm. But applying this actuality to Excel may set your stencil size greater than expected. So I have my estimation and it worked really well on all the life boys. We set the shape height and length to 56 cm respectively. This will be the outer circle of our guide. Now we do a second one following the same steps as the first, but length and height must be set to 46 centimeters respectively, as this will be the inner circle of our guide. Align both circles to form a life boy. In this small scale preview, I use the page borders to align the circles for good spacing. So a life boy has reflective stickers placed on four areas of its body equally. So we'll be making another guide to which its purpose would be limiting the stencil to a controlled size. Open the insert tab, click shapes, and select rectangle. Insert the rectangle and do steps like that of our circle. Adjust height to 56.5 cm and width to 3.5 cm. We then position it vertically at the center of the guide. After that, Duplicate another guide and place it horizontally at the center. Now we have a guide where the reflective tapes are placed. You can do it on this orientation, but I prefer these guides on a 45 degree angle. So right click on the first rectangle. Click size and properties and apply 45 degree rotation. Same goes to the other rectangle, but data must be a negative to go the other way around. We're now set to place our text inside those circles. Select a suitable word art for our stencil. Highlight the text and select a desired font. Calibri font is always my choice for this type of work. Hollow out the letters by selecting text options. Click no fill under the text fill and select solid line under the text outline. To form an arc, click on the text. Select the format tab above and click on the text effects. A drop down list will follow. Click on transform and you will see an arc sample under the follow path option. Select the type of arc depending on how you will place the stencil on the life boy. Adjust the text appropriately to fill the guide. Once our stencil is finished, we can disregard our guides and place our text on the pages for printing. Try to preview the text if all are in order. Adjust positioning if needed. This hack will save you time and paper and will ease in aligning the pages once you printed everything. Print when ready.
cut and position printouts to check that they align evenly on the lifebuoy. When all is well, add cutout guidelines to the letters just like a stencil font. This will hold the letters and prevent them from flapping when applying the paint. Now we're all set to apply our stencils to the life boys. But before that, we make slits on the edges of the paper to make our stencil flexible around the life boy, considering its curved surface. This will prevent the edges from creasing. Position the stencil and tape in place. Now, we paint. So there you have it, clean, aligned, perfect. Hey, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you loved it, subscribe. Peace.